Hey look, it's made in December 2004. Nice. Anyways, this thing's never turning on again. Man, I sure do hope I don't completely rip off the Computer Clan's tech misadventures. That would be horrible. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Really? That's just fine. You know what's not doing fine? This poor little iBook. Some of you guys might remember a couple of videos ago, I did a video on this. The late 2004 iBook G4. And essentially, it, uh, it doesn't work. It's broken. It, it no work. See? Um, it's kind of gray at the moment. And that's because its hard drive doesn't work. And today, we're going to be replacing it with an SSD. Be because of course we are. Sort of. Let me elaborate. So we're dealing with a laptop, right? Which means we don't have a lot of space, obviously. Which means we can't just take a normal, pretend this is an SSD. We can't just chuck a normal SATA SSD and like put an adapter on it because a normal IDE hard drive of the same size is the same size. See, it's just a different connector. So we can't fit both the drive and the adapter itself, which is why we're going to need to skip a couple of steps. Luckily, I've got just the thing. If we open this box, there's nothing in it. That's because, actually, I kind of used this already. Um, some of you might remember in the Reactos video, I pulled this thing out, um, and I referred to it being for another project. This is that project, so we're going to be using that. But we're not reusing that SD card. Instead, we're going to use this. Extreme Pro SD XE UHS-1 card. It's, uh, it's literally the most expensive SD card they make. Now you might be wondering, well, okay, wait, that's not really a high endurance SD card. Why don't you go with this one? It's got an unlimited warranty, which basically just means I've got an unlimited lifetime subscription to SD cards. Nice. So that's why we're using that. Now, what is the most painful way I could possibly open this? Hmm. Hey, I got it out. Just put this in here and we're good. Nice. Well, it's wrapping back. So before we go through and put this into the iBook, which is going to be a process all in of itself, I want to make sure this thing actually works first. And for that, I've got this. Hmm. And uh, this, 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 and this. Oh, and also this. Fear me, I've created the world's most convoluted SD card reader. Hey, it works. And it's dark again, fuck. Tomorrow. The next part is to take the iBook apart. Now here's where things get a little bit difficult. As you probably know, the iBook G4 and other iBooks, basically all of them, I think, it is notoriously hard to get at the hard drive, basically requiring the entire disassembly of the whole computer. But luckily, we've got the power of God and anime on our side. And by God, I mean Apple, and by anime, I mean Potato Ricardo for pointing out this resource to me on the official Discord server. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, that's right. Actual official Apple service docs. I can't believe this exists. Honestly, when I first looked at this, I was like, wait, so you're telling me the company that brought its gluing phones together has iFixit-esque instructions for taking laptops apart? <laughs> This is incredible! And it's like, they're not crappy instructions either, I mean, look at it. It has instructions for how to take the foot socket out and how to put it back in. It doesn't say just do it, like the iFixit guide does. It tells you how to put it back together. Because that's what this would have been used for. Somebody, like, dropped this, broke the hard drive, took it into Apple, and then they would take it to a service center and then they'd pull out this. So, there we go! So we're obviously going to be using this. And there's also some weird discrepancies. You notice this, as you can see right here. That is obviously an iBook G4, you can tell because it's all white around, but that is a transparent keyboard, but ours is opaque. This is very strange to me. This almost as if maybe there was a time when the iBook G4 Snow, this one, just about did have a translucent keyboard, which would have been awesome. So maybe this is like, this manual is put together before release, and then they just used this stock photo render thing. So I, I don't know. So I'll definitely leave a link to this in the description um, and also link to their website, which is uh, 
Tim's laptop service manuals, which huge shout out to Tim for uh, not only hosting this, but also making their website run perfectly on my iPad. Black stick, sadly mine's blue. Oh God. Okay, so preliminary steps. Oh, well, it looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? So now we're gonna start with this. It says we need to remove the battery first, but I think I can figure that one out. And uh, well, yes, I don't have a segmented container or anything to actually store screws in. I do, however, have a lot of teacups. So you just gotta flip it upside down. And now, uh, screws, which should be 20 millimeters long. So knowing that, I brought this. It is a uh, set of digital calipers because they rather handily actually give up precise screw measurements. So if I need to make sure a screw is the right one, I can theoretically just measure its length. Yep, that's pretty spot on. So now I'll put this in the orange teacup. And the screw measurement is also right. It's still fascinating to me, this manual for Apple eyes only is this good. I'm serious when I say this, hot take, this is better than the ThinkPad manuals. Like, I'll take this over one of the weird diagram blow-ups any day. So now for what the 8-bit guy referred to being as the hardest part of the whole of this assembly. Um, I think he said that anyway. Oh, specify down there if he actually did. No, stop! What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you- Man, I don't think this is gonna be that hard. This was vastly unnecessary. Why does everything look red? Oh, hey, look at this funny capacitor. You know, it's weird how thin this is. I bet this is just so it doesn't cook your balls or something. Which, I mean, I'm not gonna use mine, but... Speaking of nuts, what the hell is going on here? I mean, I guess I better repaste it, but that's weird. Luckily, I do have a driver for them, though. <sighs> I don't want to talk about it, but what I will say is that... This screw stripped to hell. These two screws, I don't know how tight they go back on. This thing doesn't go down properly anymore. And I've replaced this dinky little thermal pad with Arctic Silver MX4. But how exactly those things correlate and go together, I will not say. If I actually went ahead and said what I did there, if I ever went to VCF, I'd get chased out with a shotgun. So let's just install the hard drive and hope this thing still works. Scarily similar to the procedure for the 2006 MacBook Pro, we need to remove these things with a Torx 8 driver. Not that we're gonna need these, I just wanna hold on to them just in case I ever do wanna put in a hard drive. And now to figure out the key, we can see we've got these four extra pins here, which line up with these four extra pins here, so it goes in like that, which means our blank hole is on the bottom. Yep, that lines up. So then we're going to put this set. And then there's gonna be the four extra pins that'll just not go to anything. Actually, since the top is metal, I'm gonna cover this up some more. I wish I had something like Teflon tape, which would be a little bit better, but I don't. There we go, ain't nothing short on that. All right, well, there wasn't a crunch, so I guess we're good. Now we can do the good old packing tape. This is now future me's problem. You're welcome. Now I just gotta put it back together. Right. Hey, I didn't notice it has actual screw markings. Look at it. M2, X3, look at it. Wait, X3. Oh, oh, uh, you notice something's missing? Kill me, kill me please, kill me, just, just kill me. me for a second um <laughs> it works guys it works hey blinky folder hmm. that's a new one hey okay so yes i speak english welcome to mac os 10 installer you're gonna work right Yes! Here we go! Nice! Okay, I'm gonna install this later, but what better operating system to go with than this one? That's right, bog standard 10.3 Panther. What a boring operating system. Man, I sure do wish there is another version we could put on here that perhaps wasn't originally supported by the manufacturer. Now, what could that be? But uh, for now, we're just gonna test this out with, actually rather handily, 
the original shipping version for this iBook. And I mean, like, literally a copy of this. I, I just right-clicked it from the, the good old Macintosh garden, right? It's basically like WinWorld, but for Macs. And, like, the Macintosh repository, but, like, actually good. I'll leave a link to it in the description, so if you have a similar iBook, you can use that, too. The backlight's still broken. I didn't even touch it. Okay, we're good. I honestly don't know how to fix that. So there we go. SD to CF adapter version 1.4. Oh my god, come on, C come, no, come back, stop, let's give it a very creative name, which that also means the keyboard works, nice, is something wrong with it, I think I just need to restart, okay, we're gonna do this the hard way, and the battery actually works, okay, did not know that, I guess I do this the other hard way, uh, oh, hey, here we go, that was the answer. Nice. So, oh, okay. So we're not gonna have any options as to what we want in our install. That's strange. Maybe this is before that was the thing. Well, that means you can't actually do this without the second disc. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, it's different in Panther. It's my first time installing Panther. Okay. I don't know what this does, but we're gonna want it. Whoa, that's got a lot of stuff. Space required. Eleven gigs. We can use all of that, which I don't think I pointed this out before, but even though 64 gigs is kind of small, it's actually twice as much as this computer shipped with. So we're, we're good. We're good there. Oh, German, French, I don't, mm. oh, come on, man. Nice. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's do this. Is it going to work? Is everything going to work? Nice. There we go. The Mac OS X desktop on an SD card about this Mac. 1.2 GHz PowerPC G4 and 256 megabytes of RAM. Hey, the battery works. Nice. Can't say the same about the backlight though. Now, theoretically, if there's a read switch in here, It must be a bad read switch. <laughs> well, that's a royal pain. Okay, yeah, nothing I can do about that, really. Well, that stinks. Well, you know, I guess we can still try some stuff out. Maybe we can fix that later. Hey, here's a fun game we can play. See how much... We'll see how much Halo we can play before it stops working. Oh, look at those rounded corners. I'm not gonna touch the screen. I'm not gonna touch the screen. I am resisting hard to touch the... Whoa! Holy, uh, all right, okay. Battery, not good. So I downloaded this called G4 Fan Control because I was thinking, you know, I don't know if I properly put the heat sink back on the G4. So before we go and like run Halo, I think it might be wise to make sure we're not burning this thing alive. Mm. Wow, we sure are doing a whole lot of not working. Oh, that's not good. Maybe it doesn't like being run off an external device. It'd fix that quite easy. Whoa, hey, wait, can we actually play MIDI? Uh, later. Whoa. Automatically worth it. That's great. That's fantastic. And... No. No, it doesn't. It just doesn't work. Okay, well, if the fan goes ballistic and if the computer shuts off, we know we're pushing it too hard. There we go, that's pretty much universal at this point. Speaking of universal. Halo time. Halo. <laughs> Bruh. Ooh. Wow! So, it works now. Now, how exactly did I do that? Well, we're on Tiger now. Yeah, so Panther was just too old for Halo, apparently. Even though they both used PKGs and installed just fine, which should theoretically have an OS check, it's, um, it, uh, it, it just, it, it went fine, which it's not supposed to. But, uh, hey, now it works, so that's cool. It's, Tiger is boring, though. Disappointment aside, let's see just how far we can get before it goes to sleep again. And of course, since we're doing some industrial sized gaming, we're going to need a mouse. Is this rendered? Is this rendered? <laughs> this is rendered, we're doing great! Yeah, this looks... I honestly can't tell, it's too dark! Whoa. Whoa, okay. This doesn't run bad. I mean... Stand on the 
Red Square, please. I mean, of course it doesn't run bad. Is that a problem? Is there something you should be telling me about? Ow. Oh, hi there. Can I have gun, please? Thank you. Gun? <laughs> the voice acting in this. <laughs> the voice acting is great. Oh, hey, here we go. Finally. <laughs> What is this mouse? <laughs> okay, let's try out Minecraft and see how that runs. Oh, and I forgot to mention, if we go over here, I did actually install G4 fan control, so uh, we can actually see how the temperatures are. And, as you can see, it's definitely not warm, so whatever I did with the heatsink there clearly wasn't that bad, because it's not on fire. Nice. It's, it's this Sega Mojang logo. I feel like this shouldn't be possible. Also, nice photoshopping job there. Since when was it 1.5? I thought it was 1.2.5. I think that's fairly recent. Video set- <laughs> Oh, I see. We've got everything off. Okay. It's just the FOV to something a little bit more gamer. Game there we go, that's better. Create a new world. Hardcore, that's right. 1.5 isn't really that old. Well, it sure is taking a while. I mean, this shouldn't physically be possible. I kind of expect this to take at least another half an hour. Whoa, what? Okay. Um. Wow. We're using all of the CPU, but this performance is... Don't get me wrong. This performance is terrible, but this is an iBook. Guys, this has 256 megabytes of RAM. So if I click, uh, what is it, function F3, that should give us the menu. There we go. Why is our allocated memory more memory than we physically have in the computer? <laughs> um, I press the W button and there's like a solid two seconds before it actually does anything. <laughs> this is amazing. This is, uh, this is something. I wonder if it'll run better with a super flat world. I wonder if activity monitor itself is actually using system resources. Like, are we not helping our situation by having this open at all? Oh no, I clicked on it. Ooh, okay. Oh, so we are using a bit of CPU with Activity Monitor. Huh. Should we close it? Yeah, let's just close it. This could be worse. This definitely could be worse. Wow. <laughs> okay, so let's take this stuff. Not sure we're gonna need a pickaxe for it, considering the fact that there's, like, nothing down here. But... I kind of walked into that one, huh? Okay, so... Let's see if... Oh, 20! 20, 22! 26! I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set up DMV server. I'll be right back. Well, <laughs> well I guess we're not doing that then. Alright then. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Um, so before we call it, let's see just how long it takes to boot up. So if we just... Turn it off... Now I'm going to turn it back on. But there's going to be a timer. And we're gonna see just how long it takes. Now, I'm not gonna record, <laughs> we're not Neanderthals, we're past recording timers. So I'm gonna just put this broken clock here, and you can pretend it's doing something. At the gray apple, <laughs> is the screen broken? Oh, wait, here we go, here we go. What? Hey! What? What? Okay, let's try that again. Uh, hey, here we go. Alright, now it starts, now it starts, now it starts. And there we go. I'm not entirely sure what to compare that to. I do remember being pretty fast, maybe about that speed, on my MacBook Pro. I am not sure that don't quote me on that, but yeah. So some of you might have noticed something a little bit strange about this video. That of course being, I didn't actually clean this thing. Like, I didn't clean it, I didn't like look at the stickers on the back of it or anything. And that's because I was thinking maybe I should put that into its, all, its own separate video. Sort of like, I don't know, an epilogue, I guess? And in that video, we're also going to be having a look at this. The original hard drive, which I think you're gonna find what I have planned for this very interesting. So if you're interested in that, just uh, stay tuned, I guess. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the moment. 
Thank you all so very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!